Good morning. Welcome to lecture number two. In this lecture, we will talk about the WinCC trend control. This kind of WinCC trend control information comes from WinCC level one, but I need to show you this to make sure you have enough knowledge to go forward with this uh, module. First, we need to create the window. It will be the trends. And the trends, we will put the WinCC online trend control. WinCC online trend control allow us to simulate and show trends, analogs, uh, by the trends. You, you can uh, make the course of, uh, of your schema, of your analogs. And we have the X and Y axis. First of all, we have the WinCC online trend control and we need to put some trends. Each trend can display one analog. So if we create, for example, 100 trends, we can make the 100 analogs on our WinCC online trend control. I will create just 50. I will turn off these trends to make sure that they not load automatically into my uh, trends. <coughs> At this moment we are doing this manually. I want to show you how to make this manually because you need to understand how to make this. After this model you will be able to make this automatically with scripts so you can make all these steps with one script or many scripts. I will name this trends uh, just trend 1 to trend 50 to make sure my script is running with uh, good numbers because I will use the uh, some internal tags like x and this x will be from 0 to 50. We are using the archive tags. We have the trend type, line style, dot type. And we can configure this all manually. So you, you are able to show your analogs on the SpinCC online trend control. We have trend window only one. Time axis is also only one. We have time range, start to end date or just the how much points we want to display and we have the value axis let's say we will make two value axes first one will be for pressure and second one for temperatures okay so we are having the wincc online trend control almost prepared to configure our trends in this control. Okay, we have the export online status bar toolbars. Okay, I will leave the retain during runtime. So until my runtime is running, these settings are kept even if we change this in WinCC runtime. Let's enable some toolbars option so we will see all things is working with toolbars and we you can make the same like in scripts okay we have wincc online trend control now we need to put also the wincc ruler control and this ruler control has the possibility the source the source comes from WinCC online trend control. If you have more controls, you have possibility to change the source to, for example, the second trend control. This one below will show you the, the names of the, your tags, the values, the times, stamp, etc. Okay, we have now the trend control now we need to prepare some tags i will create a new group for example the trends 
and I want to make this very easy so I will create just temp1 to temp20 and pressure 1 to pressure 10. So I have 30 tags and all of them are floating points. Okay, all are internal tags, so we don't need to make any connection to PLC to make the simulation of our trends. Anyway, if you have PLC, you can connect to your PLC. Okay, we had the trends. Now let's create more process value archives and this process value archives will be separated for temperatures, for water system, for cooling system and for example the heating system. So we have the trends for water. If you have the separate system water, heating, cooling or for example you have one equipment, second, third, etc. You can make the process value archives configured by these machines. Anyway, I will make the water heating cooling so I will know that my water is all analogs from water system and I can make this Okay, so I have five pressures in water, two pressure in heating and three pressures in cooling. The same we will make in temperatures. So we create the water temperatures five. We have some temperatures for heating system. Usually heating has more temperatures. And for example, the cooling system, it will be only two temperatures. Okay, so we have now the process value archives and we have our logging in our system. So after we run the WinCC runtime, we will see that this tax, this internal tax is logging into system and we can display this data on our WinCC online trend control. As I said, if you have the knowledge about this topic, you can skip or you can just watch how we make this. After this, we will go step by step with some options with configuration of WinCC online trend control. I don't change anything in properties of the stacks. I, I don't want because I want to show you only the possibilities in like WinCC historical trends. Okay, so I don't change nothing. It's processing the actual value. It's calculating every one second for all tags. So all tags should have the point on our trend every second okay i put some comment it doesn't matter for our system but i like to have this okay so we have the tag logging configured we have tag management configured now we need to start our tag logging runtime okay we are running this and let's go to stack simulations and the stack simulation we need to configure our data so first of all i will just put the temperatures and pressures and i will just simulate my tags so i have 10 pressures and i have 20 temperatures Okay, I have 20 and I will put some functions, some sinus, uh, in incrementing, decrementing, etc. So I will see on my WinCC online can trend control some sinusoid or oscillation. 
Anyway, it's up to you how to configure the simulation. I just want to show you that this kind of functions will work with historical trends in WinCC V7. Ok, this simulation will be saved and I will give you this simulation uh, below this uh, video, you, you will get the simulation uh, script. <coughs> Ok, let's start our WinCC runtime and we will check how we can display our trends. Ok, we have WinCC online trend control without any options. We start our simulation, we see that our value is changing, the current value. Ok, now we need to put the, some tags into our WinCC online trend control. So we will see the, for example, this sinusoid. Ok, temperature first. And for example, the temperature tree. Ok, I need to enable this. I see my running, I need to change the value axis. Ok, we have some trends, our simulation is running, so now if we go with our examples, we will see this example is running or not. Ok. Thanks for watching, let's go to next lecture.